All right, let's talk sleep. Um, for what I plan to do was to stop and break and set up camp. And along the first half of the race, I did that. Um, I used a Kelty Classic Bivy. This is my second year to do that. Um, pretty happy with it. Was really carrying this in case I got in like a huge downpour or something like that. I could have a little cocoon to get into. Inside of my bevy, I used a Thermarest inflatable air mattress. I also used a sleeping bag liner. So it's a little like polyester liner that packs up really, really small. Um, and then I would use my front tire as a pillow. Um, so I would lay that down and put a little bit of clothes on top of it and, and, and have it underneath my air mattress. So that way I could elevate my head just a little bit while I'm sleeping. Um, other than that, I would just put on all my layers of clothes that I needed. Everything except my second pair of long johns I wore while I was sleeping. Um, another thing that I like at night is a good set of ski gloves. So um, sometimes I would keep my regular riding gloves on and then just slip over my ski gloves. These are nice because they have a little exhaust vent. So if you get really hot. Um, you can open them up a little bit or take them off and let your hands freeze again until you put those back on. Um, but that's part of my sleep kit is um, not having to bring a sleeping bag. Just wear all your layers of clothing and um, that's how you sleep. So most of my sleep kit was in this orange bag. I did move things around quite a bit till I found a good spot for everything. So my orange bag up front that hangs on my handlebars. Um, had my bivy, my air mattress, and a little bit of clothes. And then at the tail end of it, I would usually pack food. So that was easy to get to. Um, this orange bag did slip out once. I used a Lone Peak um, cradle that held it. Um, but what I found was the key to that working out good is I had to take a strap, lock it onto a little D-ring, and then strap that, and then that held it in place really good. Um, Jeff Hansen, a shout out to you, sir, for saving my bag and saving my butt. Um, without you, I would have lost my sleeping gear on day one and would have been in lots of trouble. So thanks for watching. Once again, questions, comments, please put them below and let me know what you think and what might be a better solution for my sleeping gear. Um, thanks for watching. This is Derek for Derek Rides.